everyone how are you guys doing Laura Manson here with Beach Treasures by Laura I am also um, the creator of the seashell craft and beach decor group and I co-run the Sanibel shell seekers group on Facebook and I am live here today at the Marco Island shell show so if you missed me and Michael last week at the Sanibel shell show you can catch that replay either below on my wall I believe somebody shared that um, to my wall so whoever did that thank you very much and also um, you can catch it in the group, the Sanibel Shell Seekers. So if you missed that, definitely take a look. We were live from the Sanibel Shell Show, which was really amazing. And today I am here live with you at the Marco Island Shell Show here at the United um, Church of Marco Island. So. I'm going to be heading in to show you guys some of the exhibits and there's some really cool things in there today. So let me know if you're joining me, comment below and let me know that you're here. And I hope my comments are working today because the last time I did a live video, I wasn't able to see any of the comments pop up. So. Um, and I'm not seeing any right now. So if I can't see your comments, I promise I will go back and I will take a look at them. But I'm gonna head inside and I'm gonna show you guys some of the really fun exhibits. There's some really amazing things here and you guys will get to see some of the Marco Island local shells and the shellers and what they did. So we are gonna head inside and let me flip you around so you can see. And here we go. All right. Very busy here this morning. We're going to sneak over here. And I'm going to take you guys around to the scientific side first. So this is an overview of the show. Here. Hi, Dawn. Good morning. Thank you for commenting. So I know that I can see comments. That makes me feel a lot better. And over here, this is this side of the room is all things for sale. So they have a raffle with raffle prizes. They have exhibits for sale. They have crafts for sale. And it, it's just kind of amazing that they have all these really unique things. So we're gonna go over and we're gonna take a look at some of the scientific displays. So the scientific displays are usually single shells. Um, here's some sea life, beautiful starfish that was found South Beach Marco. So some of these are local shells and some of them are going to be shells that are found all over the world. And so here are some winners from the show. Hi Patty, good morning. Put a sweater on. Patty, I'm down on Marco Island, Florida. It is definitely not freezing and snowing down here. So you can see here the novice class marine life self-collected. So this means you have to collect it yourself. And these are beautiful sea sponges found on Treasure Island. And here you guys can see found in Naples an oyster. Look at this, you guys. For you guys that love angel wings, this was found on Marco Island, self-collected. It's a teeny tiny, perfect pair. I hope I can zoom in small enough. Can you guys see my finger? It's like they're, they're so small. Teeny tiny, perfect little angel wings. Oh, Patty, that's not good. 19 is freezing. Good morning, Debbie and Rhonda, hi. Thank you for joining. All right, and here's another display. You guys are good. Here's another really cool display of some shells found in Australia. And these are huge. Absolutely ginormous. Look at that. Huge shells. Found in Australia. And here's some fossil shells. So for you guys that love fossils, here's some really cool fossil shells also found in Australia and 
and I'm gonna kind of run you guys kind of quickly through this so if you happen to catch a glimpse of anything that you'd like to get a closer look at definitely let me know here's a deep water sea urchin really cool looking check out those spines Lindsay, I was a longtime member of the Shell Club too. I, I actually participated in the Marco Island Shell Club for many, many years as a child, probably from the time I was about six or seven, all the way up um, through high school. So I absolutely loved participating in the Shell Show. For those of you who don't know, I grew up on Marco. Um, and so this is, this is my home and I absolutely have a special place in my heart for Marco and the Marco Island Shell Club. I participated for many, many years in the Shell Club. There are your Genonias for those of you who love Genonias, beautiful Genonias. And for you Olive fans, happy birthday to all of the March birthdays. Olive is your birthday shell. Here is some lettered olives. Big ones all the way to the little minis. So you guys can see that the scientific side is pretty much just single shells and shells collected. Here's a really um, pretty albino horse conch. Look how pretty this one is, you guys. Usually horse conchs have the orange and this one is completely white. Really pretty. Want a nice blue ribbon. And I'm gonna run you guys up to the artistic portion up here so you guys can see Oh, you guys, we have a special treat. I know you're a celebrity, we have a actually have a celebrity. We have, you guys think I'm a celebrity. We have a real celebrity here today. I want you guys to see if you guys recognize this lovely lady. You're live on Facebook right now. <laughs> this is Emily Savage. She owned the Shell, the Shell Shop. Shells by Emily on Marco for 31 years? Yes. 31 years? 31 years. I have known Emily for 33? No, 33. How, how long have I known you? 30? A lot of years. A lot of years. <laughs> 30, I'm 34. So I've known her probably for 30 years of my life. It has been a very, very long time since I've known Emily. And if you guys know my famous, she is my inspiration. I have been hot gluing, crafting with Emily since I could hold a glue gun. I still have my first scar to prove it. And if you guys remember my famous wedding bouquet that you guys all love so much, she is the one that did my wedding bouquet for me. So. And it was such a pleasure to make. Aww. She brought the most beautiful pins and colored little pieces of glass, safe oh, glass. I just, to I use adore, this is somebody I adore with every every piece of my heart, you guys. I love her so much. She is the, this is the shell, the, the shellinator, the shell seeker, the shell woman, the shell tastic one. This is the queen of shells right here. You're looking at her. Thank you, You're looking Laura. at her. I love her so much. I want all of you to know she exaggerates. Oh, no, I don't. You guys know I do not exaggerate. I tell the truth and nothing but the truth. I love you. I will talk to you Thank soon, you. okay? Okay. All right, guys, we're getting back to it. What a treat that was. I love Emily, you guys. If you've ever had the chance to meet her, she is amazing. She had the most amazing store. Okay, so we are back. Check this out. The Great Barrier Reef. Here, I'll let you guys look at this. So you guys can see first place. Hi Anthony, good morning, hello. Look how cool. This is just amazing. I love shell mirrors. They take so much time, but when you get done with them, they are just fabulous. Absolutely stunning. And here's another one, second prize. Hey everybody, good morning. And I'll get you guys up close. So this one's really cool because it has these little, like look at this piece of like coral. It has little gems and diamonds in every hole. Look how cool that is. It just sparkles. Oh my. It is just stunning. It just sparkles. Can you guys see the little rhinestones and everything? It's just beautiful love that and it's huge I mean look how big it's humongous and I know a few of you would love to have this in your house look how pretty that is painted and on the top these are all coquinas actual shells 
and there's a layer of resin on top. So there's some sea life made out of shells. So that's a really fun thing to do with a piece of furniture. And here's a really cute lighthouse made out of shells. Love that. Headdress. And here's some ships. These are all ships made out of some seashells. Some artwork. Wow, that took some time. It looks like this was all done with pen. I'm not positive, but it looks like it looks like it's just pen, which is very, very cool. Oh, Kathy, thanks for sharing. Thank you so much. Good morning, Deborah. And I love this, oh my gosh, Lily. Look how pretty, I love Lily Pulitzer. It's kind of like Lily Pulitzer print there. And look how pretty the seahorse is with the gems and the jewels. I know a few of you pink lovers that would love that too. Super pretty. <laughs> and a jewelry music box. back over here and see what we have. Sea urchin spines and shells. Oh, and here's some teeny tinies. You guys know I love the teeny tiny shells. Look how cute. Look at this little teeny cone right here. Do you see it? So cute and tiny. have seashells and you're ever wondering what to do with them, create something for your local shell club and submit it to the shell show. Ooh, look at this butterfly. Look how pretty. Some pen shells for the wings. That's really pretty. Love that. Oh, and look how cool. Guys, this is beautiful. Look at this flag. And if I zoom in close, you can see the limpet shells and starfish make up the stars. And then there's little tiny shells and red coral that make up the stars and stripes. Uh, I love this. Good morning, Susan. Thank you for joining. Look at this, you guys. I love that. How pretty. Oh, that is beautiful. We have some angel wings, lots of angel wings. And then here's your sailor's valentines. I know so many of you love the sailor's valentines. I just think they're so fun. And this one with a frog in the middle, ribbit, ribbit. This one won first place. I'll try to zoom in so you can see. The frog is made up of little tiny pieces of shell. So they're broken shells. Um, that make up the frog, but the, they are actually pieces of shell. It's pretty amazing. Baby whelks, coquinas, and flowers. I love the flag too, Kathy. I think that that's like really amazing. I, I love that so much. It's such a creative idea, and that's what we love to see here. We love to see the creativity that people come up with. I mean, when you have all these shells, you think, what do you do with them, right? Well, this is what people do with them. You guys are always asking, what do you do with all your shells, right? This is what people do with all your shells. You make something like a boat with passengers. You take all your jingle shells, you make a boat, and you make people fishing and paddling. So this is what people with their shells or they make pictures 
before they make villages. Look how cute this little village is with the little Christmas tree and the little houses. So this is what people do with their shells. Hopefully you guys are getting some inspiration and ideas. Maybe some motivation too. And then here's an overview of the show. So you guys can see 37 years here on the Marco Island Shell Show. And I'm gonna take you guys down. Let's go downstairs. Okay, and let's go over here. These are the scientific yeah. ones. Right? And show you guys some of the other amazing works of art. Some of these you'll recognize from the Sanibel show as well. But other ones will be new. This one's absolutely beautiful. Can you guys see the purple? All the little flowers. Get around the people. You guys remember this one from last weekend? Juan Blue again. Show mirrors. Oh, and this little sea life scene's really cute. So you guys get to see a bunch of sea life. Little horseshoe crab. Here, here's your little horseshoe crab, your seahorse, your sea fan. You've got a little leopard crab shell here. You've got a little crab right there. Some starfish. A piece of a sea urchin. There's a shark's tooth right in the middle there. These are the scales, and these are little Oh, and this is fun. So someone painted the inside uh, It looks like these are clams and Venus sun rays, but they painted the inside of them. Which is very unique. They're for you Wendell Trap lovers. All the little Wendell Traps. A big candle holder with a big candle. And let me flip you guys around. And this is what you call a lot of worm shells. Look at all of the worm shells. I know some of you love worm shells. So here they are. This is what you do with all of your worm shells. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Sherry. Tell everybody in the group I say hello. Oh, look at the cute little elephants. I think they're elephants. Look how cute they are. Aren't those cute? And check this out. Are you guys ready for this? Look at this gator. It is ginormous. There's a list of all the shells that were used. The alligator, the official Florida state reptile. 76 teeth, five claws on each front foot, four claws on each rear foot. So they had the statistics for the alligator. And I will show you up close on his, his bloody teeth. Here is his head. Here are his big feet. Wow. This is life size, guys. Look how big this guy is. Crazy big. 
And if you want to know what to do with all your cat's paws, your kitten paws, you can make Christmas trees. Hi, Teresa Harson. Good morning. I know. I love the worm here, too. I think it looks so cool. And here's a topiary tree. That's kind of really neat with all the shells on top. And here's a little Christmas tree. You guys know that beachy Christmas trees are the best. And here's some seashell jewelry. We need jewelry lovers with little shells. Um, um. Let me come back and make sure I didn't skip anything down here because there were lots of people. Here's some photography. So if there's anything else you guys want to see, let me know. And hopefully you guys had fun with me here at the show. It really is um, awesome to see everybody's unique creations and the things that they come up with to use for their shelves. Martini glass. Oh, we're gonna get you're live on Facebook. <laughs> really? Yeah, you are. Well, this is um, getting an education, you guys. Listen up. These are mud masses. They live on the sand beaches, and this is a a dead pygmy octopus that they're eating. The, the octopus gives off a, a scent that these guys are, are trained to go to it and they start eating as soon as they get there and there's a whole mass of them. There must be, oh I'd say maybe uh, 50 of them all at once. So I called it Picnic wow. on the Beach. Interesting. Do you guys see this? Oh yeah. So these, all these shows, so this is a, a this deceased is a, octopus. Do you see his little eye right here and his little head? And all of these shells are on him, eating him, because that's what they eat, right? Yeah, yeah. Isn't that interesting, you guys? I would have never known that had she not pointed it out. Wow. It actually should have been in scientific because it's It is scientific. scientific. It's educational. I did not know that. Yeah. Do you guys see how cool that is? So she photographed that. I could use that next year for another, uh, for a scientific project. I think it would work better. Interesting. I didn't get a ribbon for this because they got all these other beautiful. And this is, you're live on Facebook. Hi. That the, 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 all the shellers on Facebook. And your yeah. name is Patricia Patricia Wood. Wood. Yep. Yeah. So Patricia Wood took this beautiful photo, very unique and educational photo, I might add. Yeah, and I've got some some uh, artistic things that have first and seconds. Okay, well, congratulations. Yeah, one's right up there with the little the little um, ornament. You can see that beautiful. Well, congratulations. Thank, Thank you, you for joining us this Thank morning. You. All right, guys. Well, hopefully you guys all had fun. And if you have any questions, comment below for me, and I will answer them for you. And um, and if there's anything that you want a picture of, if, if the reception was a little bit um, sketchy or my, my camera was a little bit blurry, let me know. I'll be happy to take a picture for you and post it to the group. I have to go find husband because I don't know where he went, but he's probably buying things over there on the on the sale side, buying raffle tickets. So I hope you guys have a great beachy day, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.